Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. In the last part, we got the fireballs, which are heat resistant, but we well I, I guess what we gotta do now is use the fireballs to melt the peeps and everything around everyone, probably. So I guess I'll just tee it up and see what oh, there's a Christmas tree over there. And see what I can use these suckers with. You know this zipper wedge. Because of that low trajectory, I bet this is going to be pretty handy for melting out the people. Let's see. Uh, that's not the right ball. Uh, how do I use the balls then? Do I have to equip them? Like specifically? No? Oh, I oh, I hit the A button to tee up. Oh, okay. I see. It's, it's one of those. You don't just drop a ball. <laughs> You're saved! You're saved! Cheese here blocked the wind. Bet you could get a slam dunk from here. That's right, you gotta land it in the hole on the full. I do it myself, but I'm geared up for porting today. Wanna try? Ooh. No, not yet. That. I mean, yeah, I probably could do that, but I don't wanna split up side quests. So let's go ahead and. Uh, oops. Tee it up. And try and melt the snowman this time, I guess. See what the snowman will do if I melt it. If I can actually melt the snowman, because I suspect that I'm gonna get something if I. Oops. That still worked out. I suspect I'll get something if I melt them. Or not? Hmm. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. I lit this before with my lightning wedge. So I can now go right ahead and hit right down over to the one that we froze. You're saved! Saved! How's it going? Too cold to move. Do you need Coco too? <laughs> or I should say Coco again? Maybe. Maybe. Oh wait, can I hit the other snowman up over... Maybe I can. Uh, maybe not at this angle. I don't know. Cause that, because some of these... I bet maybe I'll hit there, there'll be like a side quest to melt all the snowmen or something like that. Who knows? All I know is, this is how you light the fire, you spark it with your lightning wedge, baby, yeah! So I guess the lightning wedge is indeed fit for the snow, wait, what? I can't, okay, there we go, I was gonna say, I can't tee it up at that particular one, even though I could at the others, but no, I was just kinda, kinda acting weird. And, another one has been saved, and another snowman is going down, unfortunately, for the snowman. I'm sorry, snowman. But I'm not that sorry, because you might actually give me something. Or one of these might actually give me something, I don't know. Eh, no. You there. What happened? You look a little underdressed for the cold, that's what. You were in de deep freeze. I didn't ask for your help. No. Wait, are you the pro? Maybe you could help me, though. I'm looking for an old golfing book. I came here to train. I don't have time to help you cheat your way onto the pro tour. So you know about the book. I'm a pro. I'm well versed in golf's history. If you want to talk further, impress me. So, okay. I know a shot called the hot potato. <laughs> Sorry, what? The hot potato. It's where you throw the ball up. I know what it is. Forget it. I'll, pro I'll provide you with the task. Oh, we hot potatoing? It's very hard to stop the ball in this ice, so you need to work with it. Let's see how you go. Oh, so we just... So you actually gotta, like... Do one of those things? Okay, well, something like that. Uh, a little harder for... Or, wow. Okay, I... <laughs> How would I go max power for this one? I don't know. Just seems like, uh... Ho -ho holy poopers. This is gonna be trial and error, isn't it? Okay, so I can get all the way across it with that power that I have there. That's good to know. So that means if I hit it about there, will it end up landing in the other ring that I've got over here? Like stopping in that ring? Ah, oh, okay, I understand now. So is the final hit like all the way over to the other end? If so, I'm just, just kind of a blind hit here. They seem to be getting longer and longer. Uh, a little too hard, but okay. So it's not quite trial and error. It's just more of an observance thing. Okay, so. Of course, I didn't expect you to pass. I still gotta melt out the other people, though. You just kinda threw me into this. <laughs> I guess I should try it. Try it anyway, since I'm already here. 
Alright, so we're gonna try just a little tappy tap. Yes, there we go. I got the idea. So don't change with ZL or ZR at all. Just kinda kinda work with your default power here. And let her fly or glide. Oh! Oh, barely! Okay, so I'm, so I'm assuming that this is going to be like near half or so, based on its distance. We're going to see soon enough. Oh, got it. Alright, so that's successful. But can we hit it in all of them? That is the question. Probably not, because this is kind of touchy. Yo! <laughs> okay, so just a bit harder for the last one, I guess. How about there? Because I was a bit too spunky on that other one the other time. Uh, yeah, look at that! Five for five! Wow! Woo! <laughs> what did you think? You swing the club like a 20 handicap? <laughs> but your control is almost professional. Fine, I'll give you a chance. There are three secret holes around here. Hit a ball into each of them, I'll give you some pro advice. Okay, so we got... Gotta get pro advice, we gotta level up here. So that's what the holes are for around here that I've gotta melt with the fireballs. So now we know. The more you know. Alright. Uh, wait, wait, got any more dialogue? Just there are three secret holes hidden in town. A ball into each of them, give you some pro advice. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, the one behind the fence. Gotta take care of that. Uh, that should be just fine right there. It's a nice low trajectory. Yeah, this lightning wedge, I think I underestimated in my in my initial thoughts of its low trajectory. Oh, that's a secret hole! Oh, so if I just melt the ice with my ball, it'll automatically just go in the hole? So does that mean if I hit it in this one, it'll go in the hole too? You're gonna find out! Because <laughs> why not? I thought that that was gonna be like a person uh, that we melted on the other side. Uh, yeah, just go right ahead and hit it into the ice and it'll go in. So that's actually going to be pretty easy to get the balls into the holes after all. You know, I I'm doing quests that I did not set out to do this part, just like automatically by accident. I'm just getting into them and, <laughs> well, whatever happens, happens. What's this? It's a chest. I thought it was going to be another, another person frozen. Maybe there's less people frozen than I thought around here. Uh, okay, so I'm assuming too... I'm supposed to melt these things. Oh, and you know what I didn't look for over at Tidy Park? Um, it was the the rainbow hole. There was probably a rainbow hole somewhere around there. And I didn't, didn't like look in the woods or anything for that. Yeah, uh, what happened? Did that like bounce off the stump of the tree and then bounce over? I don't, I have no idea. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Oh, can I, can I just like hit a ball over there and ignite it, or do I have to use my lightning wedge to get your uh, anvil up to snuff again? Uh, well, I could use my lightning wedge this way. Eww. Or not. Well, I'll, I know I can use my lightning wedge to at least light it manually, but I still I don't know about that thing, though. Maybe I have to get it from here. Like, uh, light. Because the trees are in my way on the other side severely. I see you're liking that new club I gave you. I'm working on some new wee wedges. I'll give you a hit to them if you bring me some ore. You shouldn't have any problem finding the rocks. It's right pretty rock it is. Just keep bashing with your clubs and it should yield. Oh, I see. And I get to keep the clubs, right? I'm making a big batch. I may give you some. Okay. So what I'm guessing is that, that those ice crystally things that I was going to try melting are actually material. Like I, was, like I got material at the spooky place. Not yet. So I got to get five materials. Okay. Is this correct? Yes, it is. <laughs> How much? <laughs> Stop it. Okay, there we go. One of five done. So yeah, it looks like I'm the way things are going. I'm just getting into whatever quest I come across, just because that's how things are going. And, eh, trying to hit it multiple times when I'm on the far right side, but it seems like once it gets fast enough, you can't really do that. Uh, okay. Alrighty. Icy ore. I can also melt this. It's a whole bunch of swing gauge timing mini games or something. 
And... I, come on, let me use the fire. Thank you. Uh, and... Yep, is the melting sound effect, I guess? Sort of. Uh, oh, it's just more ore. Okay. I can live with that. So that's three pieces of ore. So far. I think I've seen the other two down at the lower areas when I was wandering around. Oh, wait, wasn't there a piece of... No, it wasn't. Yeah, wasn't there a piece of ore over at the bandit's place, too? Hmm. Hmm. Well. <laughs> um. I guess what I'm supposed to use this for, then, is to hit over the fence and into you guys. Because I don't see any other nearby fire, so. There we go. What about that snowman, though? No, that's. That may be a different thing. Well, maybe I can pull off... Oh, yeah, I can actually... It looks just fine right there. I'll try that. Just let the trees slow it down and hit the snowman. Yes! Because why not? Maybe I'm also doing a side quest by destroying all the snowmen, too. Like, maybe someone really hates snowmen, and they're, they want me to destroy all the snowmen, and by the time I get to the person... Oh, that was the last hole! And by the time I get to the person... I'll have all the snowmen completely vanquished or something like that. Like, here's a spark and I can destroy that other snowman by the cabin then. I guess. Yeah. Alright. Drop a ball, please. Thank you. Oh, no. Tee up, tee up. Thank you. Uh, can I actually hit that snowman from there? Yes, I can. So this appears to be the one we need to use. Like using the wind to my advantage. <laughs> or not. <laughs> That may not work. Uh, I'm gonna take higher lofted wedge here. Uh, yeah, well-worn wedges, just standards, so I can get super, super high lofts. Yeah, let's see if that works this time. Unless I am supposed to use the fire on the other side, but I don't know. That seems like I don't, seems like it'd be a lot of curve around the building for such a short shot. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh. I've got to figure this out somehow. I may never, I may never be able to melt the snowman, even though I may not even have to melt these snowmen. Mm, that was too long. I'm gonna try going to the other side now. Actually, like, remember I was blocked by the house, but then there was this other flame thing here. Maybe if I do a curve, like a proper real deal curve, and a flip up high in the air, I should be able to get it this way. Maybe, but then again, that other fire may have just been used for... No, I guess not. I was gonna say, maybe that fire is just used for the other side and it's not for the snowman, but you didn't really need that fire for those guys on the other side. Uh... <laughs> Curve it around that way? No, that tree is just too, too much in my way. Hmm... We got ourselves a puzzle on hand, and yes, I know I still gotta talk to her, as well as Pat talk to, I think, the pro guy, and yeah. Uh, let's see what we've got here with our wedges. What if the digging wedge is uh, the key to victory? I would doubt it, though, but it might be, because it's got... Oh, look at that. Look at that. Because maybe the digging wedge has higher loft than the rest of the wedges. I thought I would try them all. Ah, it does! So the solution is the digging wedge. Okay. So... I don't know if I started something. Maybe maybe you're the one that's looking to kill all the snowmen. You'll probably end up in the snow a lot on this course, which means you need to make chip-ins to be effective. Let's see if you can make some. Oh, I wanted to press B. Whoops. I should have had the lightning wedge. Oops, 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 oops. Wait, actually, no, hold on a sec. A loft. I could still do this without the lightning wedge. <laughs> Who says you need a lightning wedge to chip the ball in? I've done it before without the lightning wedge. I've chipped it in many times before that. Um, actually, maybe I should be trying to land a little closer. That I have less rollout to predict. Why did I go over to left? I thought the slope was right with me. I say. Is that snow on the green that's gonna, like, stick my ball if I land it? Like, on the fly or something? Probably. Oh, way too high! 
Oh! Why should I say way too hard on the gauge? Oh, well, I still have a chance. Still have a chance. And if there's a chance that it's done, or it's doable, I will do it! Okay, maybe not. <laughs> the ring doesn't count, only the chip-in counts, I guess. Literally. I mean, you did say that, after all. Uh, I think that's gonna end up short. Or, oh, mm. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I think this would be better with Lightning Wedge, but... I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with this. Maybe because the wind's slow. Oh, oh, that's right, the snow, the range. Yeah, that's always a factor. <laughs> I got one, but it may be too late. Eh, yeah, we'll see. I mean, I can get multiples in a row, after all. It's not over until it's over. Ah! The snow range! <laughs> Just never know when that's gonna sh rear its ugly head, though. That's the problem. Here we go. I think that'll be good. For the chip-in of victory. Oh, that was about the right idea, it just wasn't quite in execution. Mm. This is actually could be a could be a dicey one to do, if you think about it, because the chip bins are uh, it's a small hole. It's not the giant holes, it's a regular sized hole. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try and do it with the lightning wedge and see how that turns out. Or act mm. <laughs> Well, well, yeah, that's definitely snow. <laughs> Not gonna make any. I I I, uh, I already got a lot of birdies. You should have seen my scorecard. Okay, so items. Oh wait, no, 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 not items. Gear. Lightning wedge. Fasten the lofted. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, yes. What if I say no? I should not say no. <laughs> Oops, I mashed it too quickly. It's like trying to make the owls shut up in Ocarina of Time. <laughs> Kpora, Kpora. It's like, mash, 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 oh no! He asked if I wanted him to say it again! <laughs> yeah, I overhit that, I know I did that. Mm. Mm. Oh, okay, that's good. Just so, so speedy, oh! Yeah, that is a really speedy run out. I'm, I might actually have to land a lot fast, a lot further back with the lightning wedge. Oh, shoot! I better end up in on the fly then. <laughs> Ooh, uh, ooh, this could be an ugly one if I don't get more chippings out of this. Mm, wow, that's uh, I mean, I, I hit all, only over hit that a little bit, but that five yard range really like exaggerates things. Maybe it's just the snow randomizer that's uh, messing with me more than anything here, and it's, it doesn't have to do with a low running shot. Mm, if so, then I have no idea how I'm how, how you could possibly do this without luck. <laughs> Well, that was obviously a mis-aim in general, but... But yeah, what, what I mean is that there is a... Because of that randomizer, them always putting me in the snow and the distance randomizer, I don't really know if it's something that you can actually handle on a consistent basis, because you don't have a... Like, you, you can't really predict how your ball is going to react as it comes out of the snow. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, that one left the target. Uh, of course. Yeah, I think the lightning wedge probably is my best bet for it. But it's still just a matter of hoping that I got the right distance so it doesn't skim over the hole or something like that. Uh, oops, no, no. I mean, I could try the putter too, I suppose, but that's. I don't think that's gonna be the solution. Mm, that might be okay. Or not. That was the worst yet. Oh man. Maybe I should just save this for later. Because I, I still haven't finished the other quests and, uh,. I've got a whole bunch of other stuff on my plate in general, and this looks like it's going to be pretty annoying to nail. This one is just a one-shotter, just to get in the hole on the fly, so that'll probably be decently easy. Uh, did I thaw everyone out? I'd appreciate it if you could unfreeze the others too. Oh, wait, wait, I remember. There was... Well, I could I could melt that snowman too, but there was... Um, there was the person... Well, I guess there's this one here too, but there's also the person over here that I came across. Remember at this far corner? Yeah! Yeah, check that out. So let's get this lit and save the world! Hopefully. <laughs> a 
lightning wedge. Quite handy for these... Oops, no, no, not, not the putter. I say the lightning wedge is quite handy for these shots. Woo! There we go. You're saved! You're saved! But you've got a quest, so I will leave you for later. <laughs> you've got blue hair, though, so maybe that didn't defrost. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead here. And time it well, time it true for me and you! And for the world, too. Whoops, no, no. Was, no, 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 I wanna tee it up just there we go. I was say, just tee it up with the regular A button, not with the Y button. I'm always used to just dropping balls. Because you can literally tee it up anywhere just by dropping a ball. Um, hi! Go, 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 go! <laughs> you think you might. Go, 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 go! <laughs> Do you think you might be ill equipped for this cold weather? Just a bit. <laughs> you think I'm crazy for coming here, don't you? Well, it just so happens I've got the perfect reason. I'm a catcher. Oh, yes! The last catcher is going! I go to the ends of the earth to find a catch. So here I am, seemingly at the ends of the earth, and certainly at my wit's end, but the catch is nowhere to be seen. Some kid must have taken it. The clue was simple. The prize lies under the Christmas tree. That's pretty easy. I checked every present, but there's nothing. Doubt Santa's going to be too happy with me now, either. Under the Christmas tree, you say? Maybe he means, like, it's going to be under the snowman. Okay. Well, I might as well get into this, too. <laughs> Why not? Uh... Oh, never mind, I just dig there, okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Wait, didn't I walk past this before and there wasn't a digging spot? Or do I have to talk to the catcher before a digging spot will open up? I love building snowmen. Something about them just warms my heart. As long as there's a snowman, I never feel sad. Oh, and I've been destroying the snowman. I'm sorry. So there's the last coin! Woo! I'm, I'm quite curious to see what I get after doing all this, though. Uh, but we're not quite there yet, I guess. <laughs> I mean, we still got other snowmen to kill, I guess. I don't... This might be a bad idea, though. <laughs> Maybe we're gonna end up starting a match with her over there, because we're gonna anger her, and she's gonna be like, You! You killed all the snowmen! How could you? How could you? Or something, I don't know. It just certainly seems like something is leading to something with these snowmen. It just feels like it. I don't know how I'm gonna get to this one. <laughs> Uh, how about I try from this end? Just go all the way around this way? Or is there fire down here? No, there's not. Okay, I'm gonna go like... Okay, this is... Oops, this is the one. Whoopsie doodle. Oh, I'm low on camera battery again. I record a lot of parts in a row. That's why it runs low lately. Uh, whoops, what, what am I doing? Why do I keep hitting the B button? I just want to go... Use a higher... Higher loft like that. Y button instead of the B button. Maybe I had my thumb a little too too low on the controller in a regrip or something. Yeah, okay, there we go. This should do it. This should be the end of the snowman. It'll probably tick her off or him off. I don't know. All right. What did I do? Oh, still another snowman. Of course. Oh, there's still another person too. Man, two, two people. So one snowman. I don't know where to. It just keeps going! The side quests, or actually main quests, I, well this is a main quest, they just keep on coming! There's no end to them! How did I miss that? It looked like it was it was touching them based on the way that the cursor was, yeah, reacting on the... Reacting on the ice, well, whatever. I have unlimited shots at it. And, oh, the, oh, the camera guy is here! Look at that! I see! Can I hit it just like that? Will it work out just fine, or will it bounce off the tree? It worked out just fine. And we're making that person matter and matter, probably. Oh, and I see another mineral that we can get. Uh, well, I should say ore we can get. I don't know, I don't know what, what the heck it is that he's... That he's trying to get out of those... Maybe it's like ice wedges or something like that to get out of snow. I don't know. Well, nailed that. And another quest. Good Arceus! Alright. Let's go ahead and get this ore, though. Because I'll, I'll try at least maybe to finish the ore quest. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, this one's turning white. The other ones weren't turning white. Okay, that's four. So where's the last one? Was it at that uh, bandits area like I thought it was? Or is it actually around here? No. Oh, oh, it is around here. So there was one. Okay. I thought there was one around here, but... 
Oh, I was right. So I guess there wasn't anything at the bandits area, but I definitely gotta go back over there once I get the password. Because remember, there was that whole password dealio. Oh, and I see. Maybe it just stayed white because it glitched or something like that. Well, that was the last icy ore. So I guess I'll finish that quest before I talk to the pro, because the pro is probably gonna lead over to a whole bunch of stuff. Got them all right! Give me that ore. Stand back. It's gonna heat up a wee bit. Are we gonna die? No, we're good. Right, get a look at these bad boys. We'll see how you go on a chip off. What? What? Oh. oh no, I'm in another quest! I can't stop questing! Right, let's see what they can do or can I do. Uh, let's have you go all ye lofted wedges. Oh! I was supposed to get these wedges before I took on the snowmen. Because they're higher lofted wedges, right? Uh, um, that wasn't any good. <laughs> see how you get on with them then. Oh, they are! 72 degrees? That's unheard of! I don't think anyone's ever made a 72 degree wedge. Holy poopers! Yeah, we're literally- Oh my god, these are probably the greatest wedges in the game. Because these could stop on anything when you have a loft that high. I've seen wedges that were like 70 degrees or something like that, but I've never seen a 72. But yeah, we're literally do like doing flop shots with this. Oh, these are gonna be fun, because I'll be able to stick my ball even on those greens at the Bermuda Isles. Oh, yes! <laughs> Oops, what am I doing? Oops, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Okay, so... This quest was definitely worth it. I do not regret doing this quest at all, after all. <laughs> I got roped into it, but I was unsure how this would turn out, but it's turning out incredible. That's enough. I'm moving up to 68 degrees now. The stopping power in these cannot be beat. Nice shot. <laughs> Watch it go in the other hole. Rush! It still doesn't have enough loft. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they do. I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah, the 64 is... Ooh, actually. Should probably go... No, it's... Oh yeah, I'm not on the, the 72. The 72 is doom to any target that we need to stop on a dime. It is doom! Nothing can stop us now. Nothing! Yunk. <laughs> that is gonna be so much fun to use. Uh, down to 72 again. Oh, and I, I do love doing the flop shot in real life golf too. That is such a fun shot. It's so risky though, but it's just fun to mess around with. Just making the ball go sky high for a couple feet. <laughs> oh, they're still still having me do flops, huh? Oh, no. 72, please. Thank you. And we're off to the air! Woo! He's probably going to have more dialogue showing that he's going to use the 72 or something. And he's actually going to going to do it this time. No more games. Give me that 72. Going all the way up to 72. <laughs> nope, not quite. Shocking. They still cannot get enough height. So I guess his his ball height is just not not his cup of tea in his game. So he should probably avoid food carts on the golf course. <laughs> All right. In you go. And uh, it keeps it keeps defaulting me back to the 56, which is a nice wedge, but the 72, the 72 is where it's at here, baby. <laughs> I'll try the other wedges when they when they actually give me the opportunity. Well, like if I like if I knock down the loft, see I'm gonna end up hitting the truck anyway. So yeah, 72 is for the win over here on this particular quest, but I holy poopers, I am keeping these equipped all the time, I think. Because these could very well be the greatest wedges in the game for shot making. Yours. You still cannot hit hot enough. I'm going on a maximum loft. 91 degrees! It's gonna go backwards! <laughs> or something. 90 <laughs> Yeah, 90 degrees would literally be a straight up direction. That's why I said 91. Because it, it's way, way behind. It actually wouldn't even work. Because you'd hit the ball with the, the lower end of the club before you'd get, <laughs> before you get under the ball. 90 degrees. But wouldn't that... 
Quiet. You can just go straight up in the air and straight down. Wouldn't they do you well? Something silly. Lest you look like a fool after my wee chip. Yes, it's just that. There it is! That's exactly what it would do. <laughs> He's gonna hit him, yup. On his head. Nay. Well, that might actually help you a little bit. If, if you couldn't get it high, up high enough with the other wedges, maybe you could just de-loft that one a lit, little bit and you'll give yourself the distance you need for, <laughs> for the high shots. Maybe my ambitions were a bit too lofty. <laughs> nice pun. I think I'll hang on to this one. It wouldn't do you any good anyway. I wonder if, if someone actually did make a 90 degree wedge. That would be hilarious. Alright. Camera's low on batteries. I keep getting into quest after quest. <laughs> so, before I get into more quests after quests, I think I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I maybe talk to who I think is the pro here. Maybe I'll go and do the quest with the other guys. I'm not sure. We'll see how things go.